to the channel. Now today I'm going to be doing another vegan ice cream review. So this has been requested that I review these. So let's have a look at these. Uh, vegan Cornettos is what they're called. Uh, yeah, so obviously just your standard Cornetto, but it says vegan on it. It says vegan made with sweet on the box there. You can see that. Yep, looks good. So vegan made with soy. So the, um, which ones were that did review recently? The vegan magnums. The vegan magnums don't have soy in them. So they're more for people who wanted to avoid soy. These ones have soy. So I suppose it's got something different. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Um, mostly water and sugar, bit of oil in there. You know, just sort of usual stuff you use to make ice cream. Um, of course, this one's got a cone as well, so some corn flour, uh, soybean powder that must be obviously mixed into the ice cream along with corn flour. Uh, can't really see what ingredients you use to make the cone here, but basically it's obviously the same sort of stuff. So this got uh, vanilla flavored, vanilla flavored ice confection in a water cone, uh, in a wafer cone, topped with compound chocolate and roasted hazelnuts. So compound chocolate, if you don't know what that is, is just like crap fake chocolate, so it's not going to be that good. Uh, but this one does say it's vanilla flavor, which is interesting because the Magnums, like obviously if you've seen those videos, they don't have any flavor. They don't, don't say vanilla flavor, they just nothing flavor. This one doesn't have vanilla in it, but it does say flavor at the end, just general flavor. So I suppose that's the vanilla bit. Um, 26 grams of sugar per 100 grams, so it's about the same as a magnum, it's not necessarily low. Uh, that's about all there is to this one, made in Italy. So I suppose that's that. Let's open this up. Now the first thing I know is this box is 360 mils and the dairy cornettos are 440 mils. So obviously you're already getting 80, 80 mils less ice cream, the box is noticeably smaller as well. That's how it is. Four in a box. I like the color scheme on this. You got a lime sort of green with a with silver sort of color to it. Looks actually quite nice. Uh, the cone is obviously smaller, you know, obviously smaller than the dairy ones. It says here, contains hazelnut, soybean and wheat and may contain milk due to processing. So if you're very strict in that, it's something you might want to look out for. But again, it's a company that mainly produces dairy products. So, you know, what do you expect really? But let's just try this out. It's not too good. It looks reasonable. See there, just your basic cornetto sort of ice cream. You can smell the hazelnuts, which is good. You can smell the compound chocolate, which is bad. But I guess we're gonna try this out. A bite of everything together, the hazelnuts and the chocolate and the ice cream. It tastes pretty reasonable and doesn't taste too sweet. That could be the nuts doing that, so I've got to try some ice cream by itself. I'm going to get this. Hmm. Well, it's definitely got a vanilla flavour. Much stronger vanilla flavour than the Magnums have. It doesn't burn as much when you when you eat it. <clears throat> so the Magnum ice cream has like a strong burning sort of sensation in your throat when you eat it, whereas this one doesn't really have that. I also notice this ice cream is possibly creamier, or I'd say maybe it's about the same. But I will notice, obviously, it's got less of a sugar burn. It still has it a bit, but it's got less nice, unique sort of flavour with the soy in there. 
in so you know more interesting sort of flavor and yes this definitely has more vanilla and it's a more enjoyable flavor than the magnum so this is definitely a lot better than the magnum ice creams definitely it's actually not too bad at all hmm. i mean it's not the nicest flavor ice cream again it still tastes like cheap cheap vanilla but it's better than the, than the magnum but i suppose i better try the cone Cone's good. Yeah, the cone's pretty good. It doesn't taste too sweet at all. It uh, tastes like what you would assume a wafer cone to taste like, but not too sweet. I mean, there is sugar in it, but overall that's actually not too bad of an ice cream. It's actually pretty decent. I mean, at the same rate though, the Magnums cost $7 for three. This one's $9 for nine. $9 for, not nine, sorry. $9 for four. $9 for four small ones. Again, the price is not really good in this. If you really want to get like a, you know, like pre-packaged ice creams, then Cornetto is definitely a far better than the Magnums. It's not even a competition between those two because the Magnums are pretty bad. But, if you just want to have vegan ice cream, these aren't worth getting at all because it's 330 mils of ice cream, or what is it, 360? 360 mils of ice cream overall for $9 versus for the same price you can get far superior brands that actually taste really nice and there's more in them. Uh, I think uh, the best ice cream I've had is Pan Organic. I don't know if that's only available in Australia, but uh, if it is, then, you know, it sucks to be outside the country, I suppose, because that one's definitely the nicest ice cream. There's a few other ones here and there. Things like this is is like like I said, okay for like just just to try it, but it's not really worth getting all the time because it doesn't even taste as nice as other ones. But yes, this is a lot better than the Magnums. So if you do want single serve ice creams in packets, then it's probably worth picking these up and trying these, and then it'll be up to you if you want to keep buying them. Though the price isn't cheap, so I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Not too bad, so that's about all there is to this particular review. Uh, if you have anything else you want me to look at, like I said, this was a request. If you have anything else you want me to look at, just leave those in the description and I'll try to get my hands on those. Uh, I think there was a few more interesting products coming out, but I'll, I'll just have to have a look and see what I can come up with. But otherwise, that's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe, obviously. People always ask you to do that. When they do ask you to do that, I would say comments would be the most important to bring in new viewers. And then of course, subscribers build into the channel. Likes are okay too, but I think comments are the main one. Anyway, that's up to you. So I'll leave you with that and I'll see you next time. <clears throat> yeah, I figured I'd probably update you on the situation with that particular one. I just finished it. And upon finishing the ice cream, I feel kind of sick. I can only guess because the amount of sugar is still just as high as the Magnums. You don't notice the sugar as much because of you know the, the waffle cone and because of the nuts but the sugar's still in there so taste wise also the more you eat the worse it starts to taste yes overall it's better than the magnum but i still can't say it's a good product because it really just isn't there's so many tubs of ice cream which cost the same you get a larger quantity lower sugar they taste a lot nicer why would you not buy those i can only say that why would you not buy those instead of this so even though I did recommend it two seconds ago, after finishing it, yeah, it's, it's not that great at the end. So maybe don't buy it, but at the same time, it's okay.